Hello, yarn friends. How's everybody doing? I'm back. <laughs> I've missed you guys so much. This is Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And um, I have missed being around you guys. And I went through kind of a, a, a funk last, last winter. And I just... I don't know, just retreated into, into a shell and just, I don't know, got rid of everything and deleted my channel and all that stuff and sure wish I hadn't done that now, but I'm starting over. I'm back. I missed you. I missed being a part of, um, I missed being an active part of the yarn community. I'm, I've still been in the shadows watching podcasts and of course crocheting. Um, so I'm hoping to be back and stay back. Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. That's me. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this and maybe I'll get a... a uh, what do they call that? <laughs> I've been out of this for so long I forgot what things are called. Anyway, uh, a shot thing. Whatever. <laughs> so... Um, I've been crocheting. I'm not going to go back and tell you everything that I've been crocheting. I'm going to just stick to recent stuff. And um, I do have quite quite a number of finished objects. I'm going to add them somewhere in here <laughs> as just photographs. Um, I had one... No, I'm sorry. I have a video and I have photographs. I had two videos, but I couldn't find out what happened to that one. It disappeared. I... I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, my um, my finished objects recently have been, um, I made a Viking doll. I crocheted a Viking doll. I came up with the pattern. Um, one of these days I might write it down. Um, but uh, our town, have, through Facebook, we have um, some people set up a Facebook, a couple of Facebook sites about um, adopting eighth graders and um, senior high school seniors and just kind of showering them with with love and presence because they're missing out on their um, uh, normal graduations and normal events so I adopted two high schoolers and one eighth grader and so for the eighth grader since she's going to be going into high school and the high school's mascot is a Viking I crocheted her a Viking, so um, I'll be putting a picture of that in this video. <laughs> I'm not very good at editing, but it'll it'll be there hopefully somehow at some point. Um, other things that I've done, I made some chicks, and it was just a pattern that I found on Pinterest. I don't even know how to really link it or anything, but. Um, if you just Google or look on Pinterest for beanbag chicks, it'll come up. It's a super easy pattern. You basically crochet a rectangle, and then you, um, then you like so you have the rec rectangle. Well, I'm not gonna tell you all how to do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I did that. You'll see a picture of that. I have um, that was a finished object. I think I put in a picture of a couple of snakes I did and I think there's an octopus I'm gonna put in um, I I was making end of the year gifts for my students next I haven't seen them in two and a half months which is was just sad next week we're gonna have the families drive up to the school and then we're gonna give the kids their stuff and so I put a little crocheted present in the bags for the kids um, so I think that's a picture you'll see in a little while for my finished objects um, I think that's it. If you see anything else, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, works in progress. I'm going to put up a video about that. I'm going to put that video up right, hopefully, right here. All right, here is my current graph scan that I'm working on. I have a wonderful uh, bobbin system that I bought online. Um, I'll either tell you the link in a minute or I will try to put it down in the, the description. But it's basically a pine board and it's got removable dowels. And um, then it's got 
I think it's half inch PVC pipe and then you um, wind your yarn onto the pipe and then just put that onto the dowels and I love it because you can um, change change it around you can take it off if you're not using that color I've got um, a little pile there of colors that I'm not using currently but I can just pick them up and pop them on a dowel when I need them so this is a graph scan of a, a photograph that I had converted to a um, um, a crochet chart on stitch fiddle and I've noticed that with stitch with stitch fiddle now you have to pay to get um, the services that used to be free you can still do some very basic stuff on stitch fiddle but it's like I think twelve dollars a year I mean it's something really super cheap to get um, features that you really really need to make a good graph can um, anyway so this is um, <laughs> unfortunately this is the back side I told myself it's like a five page pattern and I told myself that I have to um, weave in my ends at the end of every page so <laughs> I have a few more rows to go um, but there's not any on this side doesn't really look like much right now but um, it's going to be a picture of a friend's daughter holding her guinea pig. So I'm not going to show you the picture quite yet. I will save that for another time. Um, the other project I have going on on my table here in the living room is um, a pug. This is the third one of these that I've made. And it doesn't look like much right now. <laughs> but this is, let me show you the pattern that I'm using. It's by Amber Craft Store, and this is like the step that I'm on right now. But let me see if I can flip through and show you the picture of what, here we go. That's what he's going to look like. And I've, like I said, I've made it two times before, and it's, it's a very complicated pattern not that the pattern itself is complicated it's it's actually for what it is it's it's well written I mean there's a lot of intricate parts the folds are pretty um detailed on how you do them and then there's it, it's not a beginner pattern <laughs> and the first time I did it it was kind of tricky but now I've done it a few times so I I kind of know what I'm doing um my next step on that is to add the ears and anyway, it's um, Amber Craft Store. I believe it was on either um, Etsy or um, I can't even remember. It's been so long since I bought that pattern. Um, all right. So those are my two projects that I have going here on my table. So... Um, Hopefully you've seen my my uh, graph gown and my pug that I'm making. My other work in progress is I am crocheting a succulent. I have five of the leaves. These are the large leaves. And they, they're going to go around in a circle somehow. There's a way you sew them all together. And then I have, I have to make five medium leaves to kind of go inside that. And then three that go on top. And then I have a little flower pot that I'm going to put them in and give them to somebody who loves succulents and this one she won't have to water even though we don't really have to water succulents all that much this one will never need watering <laughs> um on the leaves i used oh and i forgot the color it's actually a, a yarn that i bought to make yoda with to crochet some yoda dolls and i have plenty of it but this is also i thought a good color for the the succulent leaves and what I did is I took um, my comb, my hair comb, and I just kind of roughed up the yarn a little bit. So I don't know if you can really even tell that I did that, but I just thought it made it look a little smoother. And you know, sometimes cac um, succulents, not cactus, sometimes succulents are a little fuzzy, like 
You can kind of see it up there. It's like a little fuzzy. So anyway, I'll show you that hopefully next week or maybe a picture of it or something. I don't know. Um, all right. So I'm back. I'm, I'm really hoping you guys are still out there and still are interested in what I have going on here. Um, I'm just going to try to keep it low key so I don't get too stressed out and <laughs> caught up in details and just kind of be myself and I'm planning on, you know, basically just showing you finished objects and the works in progress and any acquisitions that I might come across. I have, this is my yarn collection. I've got some more underneath the table, but, um, I used to have a lot more yarn, but I had to de-stash because I couldn't find anything. So, um, I have it by color. There's like two, two, um, drawers for each color except for up here is my buff uh, red heart super saver buff i use that a lot in the dolls that i make for feel better friends um and then uh, right there is uh, my scrap balls like i use the pieces i have left over and i tie them and yeah and then i have variegated yarn down below you can't see all the way down to the bottom but anyway i've got my bulletin board back there I'm going to add a couple more bullets and boards, I think, and get some more crochet little sayings and stuff to kind of get that back up and running. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put in those pictures and videos, and hopefully this turns out good. <laughs> and then, and um, I'm glad to be back. Please subscribe. Please join me. And, oh, I also I forgot to tell you my other adventure. I'm still trying to talk myself into doing this. Um, I, I've never done anything on Etsy. Well, I've, I've purchased a lot of things on Etsy because I believe in supporting my fellow crafters. Um, but I've never put anything for sale on Etsy. And some of you might remember if you were a part of my previous channel, you might remember that I had made, I had crocheted some, um, firecrackers and... I actually even did a tutorial, which is no longer available, but um, I've written that up in a pattern. I haven't tested it yet, but I've written it up and I'm trying to convince myself just to kind of get my feet wet into Etsy, just to kind of see like if it's something that I want to do. Um, I really en have enjoyed putting the pattern together. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm a little nervous or more than a little. <laughs> I'm a lot nervous about doing that, but um, I'm kind of excited about it too. So that's kind of in the works. I'll let you know if I decide to go with through with it or if I, you know, pull back or what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to see you guys again and enjoy.